Hey guys, it's your boy, Pastel Space Witch, and I am here with a review of The Wicker Box by Fraser Cauldron. This is the beginner's box, it's the first box. I ordered this on the 1st of May. It was shipped on the 2nd and it arrived on the 4th, which is amazing, especially considering it's a bank holiday this weekend. I honestly expected to wait until at least like Tuesday, which would have been the 7th, so that's not too bad. Yeah, this cost me uh, £20 for the box and I think it was like 3 50 ish for shipping, so I guess we'll find out if it's worth it. Um, I have opened up the box because um, it arrived um, yesterday and my boyfriend opened it thinking it was something for the cat. It wasn't. It was for me. The box itself is a little bit disappointing, honestly, like the actual box that came in because it's just kind of boring, isn't it? It's just a bit, it's just a brown box. But I appreciate the fragile stickers even though I've heard that they don't even pay any attention to that, but whatever. Uh, when you open the box, this is the first thing. There is the booklet that comes with it. Basically, this uh, is like an introduction to Wicca, obviously. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it includes uh, like a list of different types of Wicca, like the different... Um, types of witches, covens, um, in, information on starting your journey, it has some spells and just a, a summary basically of Wicca for anyone who's interested in starting although I think some of the information you would obviously have known before because you're not going to spend £20 on a box to just try a religion you know but I appreciate it because I love doing as much research as I can into this because obviously it's a lifetime commitment and I want to know as much as I can. So one thing that I have noticed is their choice of font is quite hilarious. They've decided to use Comic Sans in the book so thanks Fraser Cauldron. I got a little laugh when I opened that. Obviously I know Comic Sans is the easiest font to read so it's a perfect choice and I'm not saying it's not I'm just saying it made me laugh because it's the meme font but whatever anyway into the contents of the box so first thing I saw was this altar cloth it's 21 by 21 inches and it's the brand of Fraser Cauldron so this is specially made I assume for phrase culture it's a nice cotton material I just, for some reason I thought it'd be that silky material that things usually are okay this is cute very very thin but very cute I don't currently have anywhere to have an altar but I will definitely be using this when I do it's a very nice material there's a couple of loose threads but that's okay it's uh obviously very cheap but I mean perfect for a beginner and it has pentagrams all over it so that's pretty cute and um, next I see some white sage incense cones that is by Stamford Inc um, let's, let's get into this box and have a look at these mm. Yeah, that smells really good. Oh, and they just come in a little, a little bag. Oh, which is broken, but that's okay. You can't see that. Well, the sage incense cones are perfect for, obviously, cleansing your house. If you don't have access to sage, which I'm very lucky that I do. Okay, now this this box I'm very interested in this because I've opened it to see what it was but I haven't actually looked at the thing inside so it is I 
make sure you can hear that a bell. I haven't actually seen what it looks like yet though. Ooh, it's very cute. Okay, it's a little silver bell. Obviously bells are for warding off spirits away from your altar. It's a little bit not quite together. I don't know if you can see that. It's not quite perfect there, but that's okay. It still rings, very nice. It's cute, it's got little pentagrams on it. Can you see, yeah? That's very cute. And then I see this. I don't know what's in here. It's a little um, like swap bag. Win. Oh, a cute little ball with a pentagram in it. Very sweet. I'm not 100% sure exactly what this is for. I'm assuming either, oh, probably putting the, the insects in so that you don't make a mess all over your altar. That's sweet. Okay, we've got three things left. This one I opened because I was curious and I absolutely love it. It's a little broomstick for getting rid of negative energies on your altar and it has a cute little pentagram on it. I love it. And it's tiny enough for if, for like me, you don't have a lot of space. So you could maybe even get like a little pencil pot, you know, or even a mug. Put this in, put your wand in very cute then whoop, we have this oh my cat just came out um white pillow candle which will be good for spell work or, or just setting the mood you know it's very cute sorry my cat he's just decided he wants to be sexy uh, oh you're making my camera shake sweet come here Thumper. Okay. It doesn't have a smell to it. Cool. Sorry, I keep my cat. Thumper, come here. Are you gonna sit still? No? Thumper. Don't ignore me, I know you can hear me. Are you gonna stay there? No, you're not. Stay still. Stay still. He's being a little poo head. So, he's getting in the box, that's fine. But he's getting in the box, that's fine. You just felt packing peanuts all over the bed, but it's fine. So every witch's box, as far as I'm aware, comes with a spell kit which has everything you need inside it to do a spell. So let's see what we got. It is a cleansing bath spell kit. Oh sorry, a cleaning bath spell kit. It's for use before performing a spell or ritual and will cleanse you from all negativity and residue from past spells and it can also cleanse you after a day of negativity from work or daily life which is cool, very good and it comes with this really cute blue bag blue candle which I'm not sure if it has a smell because it also has this is cute blue Himalayan bath salts Let's see, it doesn't say anything about uh, what the blue represents, but blue is a very calming colour. I'm not going to obviously read the spell out because it's not now, it's not the time, you know, but it does have um, a little thank you note on the back. If you want to read that, you can... Uh, pause. Uh, but basically it has all the information. It has the website, email address, and just a little thank you for buying the box. So, now for my thoughts on the box. So, obviously, this was only £20, so that's not too bad considering we got one, two, three, four, like six items seven including the book so i would say that this was definitely worth it if you're a new witch um the box obviously empty now because the cat knocked it over but i think they could maybe improve get some printed cardboard boxes because they do other subscriptions if you want to check those out i'll put a link down in the description so that you can 
see uh, like which box you would want because obviously they do one for seasoned witches and then they do this one which comes I think in four parts and it's for like new witches, baby witches like me or you, maybe not you, yeah. So I think I'm probably going to keep the stuff in the box but throw away these packing peanuts because obviously I don't need them and right now I don't have an altar so I would have liked to have been a nicer box so that I could do that and have it be nice but obviously I can decorate it myself. Um, I appreciate the sage and the fact that we get 15 of them which is 15 cleanses of the house and as someone who wants to try and cleanse the house probably every full moon I really appreciate that so that's great. The bell, obviously, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not quite perfect on here. I don't even know if you can tell, but I can. But it's very cute. The cat seems to like it as well. Always a bonus. Plus, be spell bells, spell bells aren't that common in Wicca these days, so I appreciate them including it because I know that it is quite an important part of your practice to ward off evil spirits or to call on your di deities Deities or gods so I do appreciate that they included that because it was like all of the things in this box pretty much are things that I would purchase myself and I'm glad that I had them I did expect to get some things that I wouldn't like or didn't feel any kind of connection with but I appreciate that I did and that's great because obviously I'm going to keep all of these items. If I do in later boxes receive things that I don't want, I will probably sell them online on Depop maybe or Etsy or maybe even Facebook sales groups or something like that. But I, if I did, I would put the link down in the description of all of my videos saying the link to my Depop. But yeah, I love this, especially the little pentacle. Um, I feel a strong, the connection is strong with this one, like I w definitely wouldn't have thought to purchase this as one of my first items, but I really appreciate getting it. The spell kit is amazing, I'm definitely going to use that sometime soon, maybe I'll post a picture on my Instagram, which I will link down below, it's pastel spacey, which with a Y at the end of space. This I really appreciate because I can use that with the sage sticks and it's very cute the more pentacles the better you know the altar cloth I expected it to be a bit higher quality than this but that's okay because it is a first altar cloth and obviously they have to keep prices down somehow because I would imagine that the contents of this box adds up to a little bit more than 20 pounds which I appreciate this I am very excited to read because obviously I love learning more about my religion and there are some interesting cleansing techniques in here that I would like to learn because obviously there's more than one way of doing anything and this is great because you can never have too many candles when you're a witch. So overall I would say that this box is definitely worth the £20 if you're just starting out. I wouldn't recommend it if you've been in the practice for a long time, but obviously that's not what it's marketed towards, so you probably weren't even thinking of buying it if you've been doing this for a while and have a few things already. Uh, I'm very excited to buy box two, and I will definitely be doing a review of that as well, because I like to let people know what I think of things. <laughs> and I obviously want people to know that they're getting the best they can for their money um yeah definitely i would give it probably about nine out of ten because again the altar cloth quality wasn't the best but the shipping was amazingly quick i don't know if that's because i live near where they shipped it from or what i don't know where they're based um the box again was a little bit disappointing on the outside but that's the only thing I can really think of that I would say I would like to be improved for the next time I order but obviously that's up to the people involved 
And if that means raising the f price, I think I would probably advise against that just because 20 pounds seems like a perfect price for something this like small and yet useful like it comes with a spell everything you need for a spell sometimes it's hard to find the ingredients you need for a spell because you might live nowhere near a, a pagan shop uh, you might not be able to order things to your house for whatever reason and I do appreciate the discreet packaging but maybe have an option for discreet packaging kind of like how Amazon has the gift option maybe have the option for discreet packaging maybe obviously it depends from which to which Wiccan to Wiccan what they prefer personally I would prefer a more extravagant box but that's not an option for everyone Anyway, I've spoke too long about just the box, so thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram, which is also in the link below. And I'll put a link to Freya's Cauldron, they sell just general witch supplies. They do the witch box, subscription box, as well as this. I think they sell magazines and things as well. Just basically anything you'd need for your practice. So thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video, I will be doing a poll on my Instagram to see what that video will be, so all the more reason to follow me. Thank you, goodbye.